Hi again, I want to give an update on my uh, failed and leaky spout that I uh, actually, the water actually leaked downstairs to uh, my daughter's neighbor and it damaged the uh, drywall so they had to fix the drywall and they hired a handyman. We also uh, replaced the spout uh, by the same plumber that came to investigate that the HOA sent and he found out that the, the old spout was loose, uh, it was not properly uh, installed by uh, the other plumber company. So I thought, you know, at this point, uh, the insurance company, because the total cost of the damage is like 550 that uh, we have to, to pay, uh, you know, in order to replace the spout and also to pay for the, the neighbor downstairs damage. So total of 550, which is, you know, I mean, that's probably more like um, home insurance deductible. So the insurance came and they agree with the damage and actually they closed the, the claim because uh, we were going to go ahead and pay the uh, for the damage anyway. So I thought, why don't I go ahead and because the problem was the faulty spout that the other company, the plumbing company did. So I last week I start sending them email and send them pictures and uh, you know the cost and the receipt that we got from uh, plumber and handyman. And today I got an email saying that they agreed to pay, but then they asked me for the old part in which we didn't have. So I told them we don't have it, you know. And I told them that uh, it was probably due to a bad installation because the their technician did not properly uh, replace it. Actually, he left a lot of space between the spout and the, the top wall. Uh, it's hard to show you, but basically, he was saying that the uh, the pipe in the wall, you know, the rubber pipe was too, a little bit longer. So he did not, you know, he didn't want to want to cut it or do it right or whatnot, and so he sort of a you know, put it in, but there was a gap. So we had to put a lot of caulking there. That's what I, you know, I told the company today. Uh, let me show you the email. Uh, so, um, let me open this. And then I send, and you can see, so I send back to him. I also attach, I told him that I have I only have picture of the old, this one is the old spout that we remove, okay, uh, and this is the, the new spout that we replaced, that's all we got, we didn't have the, you know, he was saying that he need the, the old part if we have it, so he can send it back to a factory. However, we bought this uh, old spout from uh, Home Depot. So the other thing is that whenever you're going to have something replaced, do not use your old part unless you have to have the plumbing company provide the old part, the old part I mean their parts that when they can you know uh, guarantee their parts because if you mix the parts using your part and their part is hey your part is bad you know so I did not tell him that I bought the part from Home Depot and had his technician did it so I did not mention that in a way do not say something do not give too much information try to justify what you did because it can actually hurt you so all i told was telling him that you know hey i uh this is the uh the handyman a bill that we pay uh, a lot of people taking sell right now you know the bank application sell and it is the uh, the plumber that uh, we pay so basically there's they found water leak from upstairs unit hall Called top spout the pouch the spout was loose and leaky water into the wall, so he removed the spout and then put in the new one with uh, uh, his own uh, mowing uh, spout with the diverter, and the parts is one hundred. Customer pay four hundred and sixty. So I sent all of this to the other companies in order to get reimbursement. Let me close this. I can close that. Hang on a second. Okay, here you go. So that's what I did, you know, I told him that uh, we threw it away. I told him the problem probably due to bad installation. The technician did not actually uh, put the, you know, flush the spout to the top wall and all of that and put in a lot of uh, caulking between. 
hopefully you know I make sense and a couple why it was too long whatever uh, maybe I speak too much there I don't know but anyway it's a plumber they should know what to do in order to prevent of course the worst thing that can happen is leak right I mean that that's the worst thing that can happen to to uh, to a plumber it did, did a poor job so hopefully by tomorrow I go to uh, this is the previous email that you know you know, send it to me we can reimburse the cost however you need the part of failure you know, to test to see if uh, uh, you know so I told him I'd have the part I'm waiting to hear him back now uh, so so like I said you know always use the plumbers company parts uh, because they can warranty that if you mix and match other part with your parts you might run into a problem and always keep the receipt and and you know if you have any problem uh, if you can wait you can call them right away have them have them come but this is involved uh, you know uh, playing uh, repairing drywall which is you know it's too complicated and we did not want to wait so the best thing uh, is to keep on keep on the receipts and get send them the report telling them what happened keep the old parts take a lot of pictures before after and things like that because you know I mean some company will, will we may give you a hard time like oh if you don't show up the part we cannot you know hopefully this is not gonna happen happen if we didn't have the part then we can reimburse you but we have the report by another company plumbing company that's saying that it failed so in fact it's failed whatever they did it failed and the worst case hopefully not gonna happen I told you guys that we in California can file a complaint at Better Business Bureau. I did that one time and it was successful. They get back to me right away because, you know, when they have that uh, complaint against their company that people can see, it's not good for bad, their business. They will pay you, make you happy, and hopefully you go away. Then, you know, try to fight, you know, and save $550. I mean, for business, then that doesn't then doesn't make sense to have an unhappy customer and then customer file, you know, claim or, or you know, against uh, you uh, using a BBB Better Business Bureau. So anyway, so uh, so we'll uh, we'll give you guys an update uh, once I hear back. Hopefully everything will be good. So anyway, uh, make sure, like you say, uh, keep all the receipts and contact whoever did the job that did poorly. Hopefully. You will work with a licensed uh, contractor. That that that's the thing. If a person doesn't have license, it's going to be hard to actually uh, hold him responsible for whatever he did. Of course, you're going to be paying more. So I think plumbing, I would use license uh, if you can, unless you know the plumbing is outside. If, if it leaks outside, it doesn't impact you. But if it's inside, be careful. You know because. Uh, Unless you know a good guy, I have a good guy that he's not licensed, but he had a lot of experience working for a plumbing company that I use, and he 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 always you know responses. Uh, of course, if you have a major leak, uh, I probably can use him to come you know, and pay him you know less money than you know because uh, nowadays uh, plumbing company come out they're gonna charge you four hundred, five hundred, six hundred dollars easily you know they're gonna go open up your drywall and look you know search for whatever whatever where the leak can come from and that is easily four hundred dollars just to to search for the leak before repairing it for you know so anyway hope it helps and uh we'll see you folks on the on the next video have a good day and thanks for watching and subscribe to to help me out uh, you know so more people can see my videos have a great day. Any questions, let me know uh, regarding, you know, having leak in condominium environment. I have a lot of experience and I just did another video on, on how, you know, because it can get complicated. The first thing you want to do is in a condominium is to call HOA right away so they know. And in this case, HOA came out and it, actually HOA sent a plumber out and HOA pay like $400 instead of you. SOA will pay that to, to, to look for the, the leak, you know, because it can, the leak can come from anywhere because you have so many units in the condominium, you know, you can come from it anywhere. So, uh, so if you don't do that, you try to figure it out yourself, uh, good luck and you're going to end up paying more, you know. So always, first thing, 
I would say call HOA and let them know. And if they're good, they'll send somebody out right away. We also have a little bit of termite damage on the wood. So I told, you know, we call HOA and send them pictures right away. And, you know, what you can do is send pictures and send video. And you can use that uh, for your report and for your justification, you know, later on, maybe with an insurance company and things like that. Uh, yeah, if you have leak, you might want to uh, call your ins insurance company, unless it's very minor. But it's good to open the claim anyway. In my case, actually because the, the, the damage was done downstairs to another owner unit, that owner unit opened up the claim with her insurance company. However, you know, uh, everything settled. Um, her insurance company didn't have to contact our insurance company. So because, you know, the, the, my, the, the damage was oh, considered kind of minimum. If, if it's, you think it's going to be more, definitely open the claim or have the other person unit downstairs open the claim because we don't want the case where there's more damage and then, you know, you didn't open the claim and it might be a month or two months down, a month or two months down the road and we got, we found more damage, let's say with Molo or whatnot, it's going to be complicated. So you open the claim, actually, I think by law, you actually reopen it or open a new claim, telling them it's related to the, the old claim, things like that. Again, check with your insurance. And anyway, uh, be vigilant uh, or, or mindful of what's going on. Always check for leaks in your condominium. You have any leak, you got to have a, you know, call the HOA or have a, if it's inside, you know, get the plumber come right away. You, you want to at least stop the leak right away because more leak will damage uh, other things, drywall and insulations, and you don't want that to happen and can damage other units. And may, they're gonna have to open up more more drywall and more costs and so definitely uh you know call the plumber call the HOA first call the plumber you know and and you got to stop the leak first regardless it, it probably be you if it come from your <coughs> your unit you're gonna go ahead and, and have a plumber uh stop the leak first get the receipt and then you know uh, full out with your HOA and insurance and access the associations uh, and you know open up the claim things like that anyway we'll see you folks on the next video and good luck